Hey everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms and we're coming at you guys today with another manufacturer spotlight. This time talking about another one of my personal favorite brands, FN or FNH, FN Herstel, all right? Fabrique Nationale de Herstel and that is such a cool name, but also too, a really cool manufacturer of firearms, all right? They've been around since the 1880s, uh, so well over 130 years now, and they have been making guns for a long time. They actually got ordered by the Belgium government to make 150,000 Mauser rifles, and thus began FN. And they actually were a producer of motor vehicles for a while. They produced motorcycles up until like the 1960s, trucks even to the 1970s, and even just regular old cars, FN, made until about the mid 1930s. So a really cool brand and they are still a very important brand to the United States because, well, I'm still serving in the Marines and just about all the rifles that we're currently issued are FN. That's our M16s, our M4s, our 240s, our 249 machine guns, and also the machine gun, the M2, the Ma Deuce Browning 50 caliber machine gun is produced and manufactured by FN under license from Browning. Pretty cool stuff, right? So. Uh, Anyway, <laughs> I kind of wanted to start this video off with something brand new for 2021, and this is the FN 509LS Edge. I've uh, shot it just very little so far, and I do like the gun. I really love the feel of it. I love the look of it for sure. It is a good looking gun. Kind of resembles, you know, other guns out there, but you know, hey, it's all there. But uh, the trigger though, I kind of wish they went like the route of the FNX, which has more of the metal trigger versus the FNS, which was the pretty much earlier design of the 509. And it has that plasticky trigger, the polymer trigger that is just a little gritty. You can probably hear that, but anyway, a little gritty, but ultimately I do really enjoy shooting this gun so far. Granted, I've only got a you know, just a few rounds to it, not a whole lot at this time, uh, but I do really love the sight picture and I am ultimately a big fan of their pistol line. Speaking of which, we can actually just continue talking about another pistol, which you guys have seen for short. Let me grab that. And it is my personal FNX 45 Tactical. I've talked about this gun probably way too much, so I'm not gonna talk about it too much here, but I will go ahead and hit on all my favorite features. The trigger on it feels very good. It is single action, double action. As you can see here, you have just a little bit of take up before you hit that very well-defined wall, and then that hammer drops, boom. Reset on it, nice and short for the most part, for a combat handgun, it's really not bad. Very smooth, not gritty. Love the standard sights that it comes with, which are the Trijicon suppressor height. Love that. It already has an RMR optics cut, just like the 509, though this is a patented design. You do not lose your rear sight on either one of these for the optic that you want to throw on there. Also a plus. It does come with a, a uh, threaded barrel already, which I'm a huge fan of. 15 rounds of 45 ACP Picatinny rail. Oh man, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Anyway, all right, enough talking about pistols. Let's talk about something else you guys really love to see that's still a nice compact short boy, the P90. So the P90 is a super popular little carbine and this guy is a bullpup design, meaning that pretty much the entire firing sequence and mechanisms are taking place behind the trigger group, right? So as you can tell, uh, the magazine actually feeds and loads from all the way back here, which is pretty cool. But a 50 round mag for the 5.7 by 28 caliber is super sweet. I am actually a huge fan of that caliber. It's a fast mover, small guy. You can pack a whole lot of them into one magazine. And there was a pistol is a pistol designed by FN called the FN 5.7 that is designed to shoot the same caliber as this guy. It was a NATO request that they were looking for like a personal defense firearm uh, to uh, shot both you know, in a pistol and in a PDW type setup like this, chambered in the same caliber. And uh, that's what we got. Today, of course, uh, the 5.7 caliber is becoming a little bit more popular and we're seeing a little bit more manufacturers making some cool stuff out there. Enter Caltech into the chat with the P50. We got Ruger 5.7 out there, CMMG Banshee, all sorts of neat things, right? So just cool stuff all around, and I really do like just the compact little ergonomic gun that this is. Also too, fun little fact, it actually has ultimately four sighting systems. You do have an optics rail up top that you can mount a red dot to or a magnified optic, whatever you want. You've got also a 
peep sight right underneath the rail, and there's a front sight post right forward of that. It's probably gonna be a little difficult to pick up, but right there. And also too, there's a cut here and a cut right over here. That's another rear sight for some front iron sights. So you are just completely covered and be all the way through with this gun here. The safety is easy and ergonomic to hit right here underneath the trigger. The charging handle is also on both sides. As you can see that moving there. Just easy day, all day. Magazine inserts like such, and to take it out, you have a tab on both sides, push, pull, and you're ready to rock and roll. Really a cool gun. Now, what do y'all say we talk a little bit more about, I don't know, what else do they have? They have so many things out there. I like, personally, the FNC. Now the FNC isn't something that we see a whole lot of, but it was made famous in the movie Heat. Al Pacino's character running around with something pretty awesome there, right? Uh, of course there's a Galil featured in there that I think Tom Sizemore's running around with. It's been a minute since I've seen the movie, so hopefully I'm getting all this right. But the FNC is a really neat looking carbine, but of course we can't talk about FN without talking about the FAL. And the FAL, unfortunately I don't have one here with me, but the FAL, oh man, the right hand, the right arm of freedom, right? That thing is a heavy hitting 762 caliber rifle that honestly a lot of people believe the M14 caused us to lose out on getting the FAL. The FAL just being a little bit more of a modern firearm with its gas system or piston system on it. And also too, the M14 is just an old design, right? Everybody thought it was kind of obsolete and everybody just kind of loved that old school action and everything else. So they decided the FAL just wasn't it for the US market. But I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But anyway, the FAL is a really cool gun and DS Arms today is still making a modern version of the FAL. And we actually gave away the DS Arms improved battle rifle. Oh, that thing was a sweet thing to shoot for sure. All right. But anyway, let's go ahead, let's talk about our next up here. Let's talk about the FN Ballista. The FN Ballista is their long range precision shooter that is sweet. So first off, it's a modular platform. It's designed, and it says it right here on the receiver, designed to shoot different calibers such as 762 by 51, 300 Win Mag, and 338 Lapua. This one specifically is chambered in 338 Lapua, but it also comes with a conversion kit included in the package for 308. So if you wanted to save a little bit of money and just go out and train with it, you can with you know 308 so easy enough right but anyway the ballista is a really cool design like i said it's a modular design and up front here with this break on it i mean it is ported it's a super easy gun to shoot i've had a little bit of trigger time with a couple of these now and i gotta tell you i am definitely a fan i've also got it matched up with a uh, accutac bipod because i think that just looks really good Maybe it could be FDE too, because this one time FN actually made all the colors match. So th here we are. But anyway, nice gun. Uh, coming back a little bit further on it too, I wanna talk about the barrels because FN Cold Hammer forges all of their barrels, which I think is super awesome, very cool. Picatinny rail runs right up top for any type of optics. We got a Crimson Trace mounted on this guy here. I've been a huge fan of these recently, mainly because, well, first off, they look really good. Their first focal plane, and on top of that, do you see these little white marks right here? They pretty much tell you exactly where you need to be as far as lining up the optic and making sure that it's nice and straight. It just makes life so much easier. But anyway, the stock on it does fold off to the side too for you know concealed carry or more so for transportation because it is a long boy, especially with the barrel installed on it for sure, all right? But anyway, like I said, precision shooter, heavy hitter for sure, chambered in all those different calibers there, or at least modular enough to where you can change out the caliber and make it whatever you want. Really cool. And again, 338 Lapua through this guy is a lot of fun, I gotta tell y'all. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and let's talk about probably everybody's favorite platform from FN, the SCAR. So yeah, the FN SCAR. Now we are also giving away, just to let you know, a SCAR 17. We'll talk more about that setup here in just a moment, but everybody loves this gun, especially if you've played Fortnite, right? Get out of here. Anyway, 
war zones where it's at. But anyway, the SCAR is a really cool platform, and the more and more I shoot it, the more and more I do enjoy it. I did have a couple of rants and raves about it when it first came out. I first, you know, thought it was, oh man, this thing is so cool. I love it, right? Uh, and that was back in 2004. 2009 is when it entered service and is actually still in service today, which is great. Uh, but when it first came out, I was all hyped about it, got it into my hands, took it to the range and shot it. And the very first time I shot it, I was holding it kind of like a goober and I completely forgot about the reciprocating charging handle. And I learned that lesson really quick, all right? But uh, it's been a while then, since then, and I've shot several of these and different variations of it. And I have learned to manipulate it a lot better now. And you can actually check that out in our current giveaway video where you can see a little bit of work being done with the 17 chambered in 308 or 762 by 51. Really cool platform. Again, it is the Special Operations Forces Combat Assault Rifle, except none of the guns we have here are assault rifles. They're all semi-auto. And if you need to uh, read up on the definition of what those are, go do that. Educate yourselves, because these aren't assault rifles. Anyway, I do like this gun. It took a while to grow on me because you're spending a lot of money for something that does have a reciprocating charging handle and a base A2 grip. Uh, but ultimately, it's a lightweight battle rifle. It does have a little bit shorter rail than what I would typically like, but there are aftermarket rails out there that you can buy that actually are M-lock, which is pretty cool, but also to go back further or past the gas block, kind of like what you see on the SCAR-20 behind me. And the SCAR-20 is more of the designated marksman or sniper platform uh, for the SCAR series. So they just have the extended receiver and also to an extended rail and also a heavy profile 20 inch barrel, all cold hammer forged again. And uh, shooting one of those in 6.5 Creedmoor is a lot of fun. Another uh, unknown fact too is that FN also made a battle rifle way back in the day. Uh, they did make different variations of the Browning automatic rifle, which is, yeah, that thing is just super cool. It's also super heavy. And we also gave one of those away way back when. Zach was our winner of that. And Such actually was pretty impressed by that gun and said, man, you guys are giving one of those away. I want to shoot it. And I also want to meet your contestant who won. And so go check that video out because we actually got together with Such and Zach who won the BAR and had a pretty good time shooting some stuff, all right? But anyway, leading up into another SCAR that, uh, well, you guys see this one here, the all black one, which is pretty cool, but there's also a new camo out called the Western Viper that you see right here. <laughs> uh, I posted it up on our social media asking you guys if you liked the look of it or not and also too if we should give it away and a majority of you both said yes to both of those questions. So here it is now. I did go ahead and throw up the EOTech and Magnifier and I was reading one of your comments. Uh, you guys said, one of you guys said, what happened to LPVOs? Do you prefer magnifiers that much? And honestly, it's, it's what we got available, all right? So <laughs> I do love the aesthetic, the aesthetic, the look of a holographic and magnifier, all right? I'll be honest, I, I really like the way it looks, but I am also a huge fan of LPVOs. Be looking out for future giveaways that include an LPVO, like, I don't know, the Vortex Razor Gen 3 HD 1 to 10. Just throwing that out there. But anyway, also too, got a vertical grip on this guy because of the way I like to grip it. Something like this right here, especially with the Enforced Light mounted on it. That right there is a very comfortable setup. And again, go check out our video announcing this as our giveaway, Classify classicfirearms.com to get your entries for this guy. No purchase necessary. And remember, it's not who has the most entries. All it takes is one entry. But of course, the more entries you have, the better your chances, all right? Now also too, because of uh, me forgetting to mention a uh, secret code word for one of the entry methods on our last giveaway with the Zenith Z5, we we're allowing two this time, okay? And one of them is SCAR, S-C-A-R, easy enough. And the other one is Viper, V-I-P-E-R. So make sure, again, you're headed to classicfirearms.com to get those entries. And I'm gonna leave it off there, guys. What is your favorite FN produced gun? Me personally? The Ma Deuce 50 caliber machine gun, obviously. That or my FNX 45. I absolutely love my FNX 45, and you guys know that. I'm done. I'll see you guys down in the comments section. God bless y'all, and we'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.